Uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to series of videos on auto lock box in fusion receivables. So this is the third video of this series, or uh, rather third in the last video. In the first video, we discussed the application setup. In the second video, we discussed, uh, we prepared the BDI file and we prepared the uh, zip file accordingly. We recall the zip file was I stored it locally. This was the zip file. Now, after that, this is the third video where we are going to import this zip file to application. So this is the FBDI zip file. So our expectation is that once we process this zip file into application, it should create a receipt and automatically it should apply the receipt to two invoices which we entered in the data file. The invoices which we entered were uh, these two invoices, so 17,000 and 17,001, and these were the respective amounts. So that's what the expectation we have. So let's get started in application. So to proceed further, we need to uh, submit a request to first, uh, we have to submit a first process. The first step is to load the FBDI file, what we have created. There are two methods of loading. One, we can load that file to ECM by file, file import export. And uh, then we can submit the process, the same process which we are submitting now. Uh, another one, without loading to ECM, uh, we can directly load that file while submitting this process as well. So let us, uh, I will explain that when we can do the, that differentiation. So we have to submit the process, load the filter files for import. This is a common process to load any data file. Uh, the import process, we have to select that uh, a processed, a processed process receipt. That, that's the specific process we need to mention that. For that process, we, are, we want to upload the data file. So we will select that process. So let's do a search. Process uh, receipt through Dropbox. This is the process. Now, in this state of file drop down, so had we uploaded the file, so what are we doing? That we are choosing the file directly from the my local drive. That's one option. Another option, had we uploaded the file in UCM, in the data file dropdown, that file automatically could have appeared. So that's the difference. So we have selected the file. Now submit. So the process is submitted. Now this process will uh, uh, load the data into AR payments interface altered. Let's go to that. Uh, let me query that table. Okay, so that the, the it got updated, uh, uploaded. By now. So the batch name you remember this is the batch name with the file. Data got uploaded in the application. So let me just refresh the process status. So it should, it should be in success. Uh, Status now. Yeah, the data got imported and the load, load file interface is in success. Yeah. After that, so now data got imported into AR payments interface. All. After that, we need to submit another process of uh, process receipt to Lockbox. That's the next step. It has few parameters. So here we have to enter the import process ID, which was used to load the data into AR payment interface. So let me just check the drop down list.
decimal of time yeah, so 29 so that is the this is the process id which was used to load the uh, particular data so that process id it's a new transmission you have to give a transmission name so i'm just giving a name submit import no and what is the lock box which we are using accounting date you can change if you want otherwise any day we have the setup in the lock box that it has to take it up from the depot from the deposit date what we have, we have given in the data file so uh, once this process gets submitted uh, we can see the data in application uh, not in the application but the we can download the data from application directly in excel file so we click on the manage lockbox transmission so it will uh, download one uh, once those sub, uh, that process is complete we can download we can go to the application and click on the manage lockbox transmission it will download us a, a dfti uh, excel file and then we can query what data got inputted finally for that particular transmission we can query by the transmission name. So first we need to connect. Uh, as usual for any other ADFDI, we have to provide the credentials. And once it gets connected, we can query the data. It will, so it will display all the data, what is there in, in system right now as a, as a transmission. If we want, to query specific transmission, the transmission name, what we have given sign one for, we can query by that. So that we can see the data imported for a specific data file. We can click on search. So it will show us only the sign 14 data yes. here we can go and i can see some of the accounting data has not come let me just copy and paste it okay why many times and once we do that click on submit and post so this will load the data this will run the validation process for the data So let us wait for the process to get completed. It has triggered the process receipt to Lockbox Explorer. And it will give us a validation report of the lockbox data, the last uh, process, spawn process for this. We can check the output. If there is any failure, uh, it will be shown in the validation report. If no failure, it will say that receipt has been created. Let me load, uh, download this to local drive. If we can see, it says process record was validated, receipt was transmitted. That means the receipt got created. Now we can query the receipt in application. We can go to manage receipt page and we can query the uh, receipt by the receipt number or any other parameter uh, which we which we have. Which, which we know that the first name that was the receipt. So the second one here, 
is the receipt which got just created by the process we submitted just now. We can see that one one expectation was that receipt should be created. Another expectation was that the, the created receipt should have been applied automatically to the two different transactions. The transaction number uh, 17,000, We can see that the receipt got applied to both transactions. And the applied amount is also there. Uh, it's here it mentioned 214, That is the data what we did. So, uh, so this is the complete cycle which we just uh, process, which, which we completed. Uh, this is simply a basic, a basic thing what we have shown. Uh, apart from this, we can test the overflow, uh, how the data should be imported, how the auto lock box should be used when we have overflow invoices. For instance, if a receipt has more than, if the receipt is against more than eight invoices, how the data should be prepared, how the data preparation will be in between. Only, only the data preparation will be different. Rest all will be same on the process of the steps what I'm showing. So, so that is it from my side for this. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.